how to connect Printify to Shopify updated. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can connect your Printify account to Shopify to start creating print on demand products and start selling them on your Shopify store. So let's jump right in. Now, the first step to be able to connect both of your accounts is to have accounts on both platforms. So I am going to go on ahead and log into my account on Printify and we're just going to go into our account over here. Now, once we have created our account, it's time to connect our Printify account to Shopify. So to do this, the first step that we are going to do is log on to our Shopify dashboard. And in our Shopify dashboard, the next step that we're going to take is to go into settings on the bottom left. Once we go into settings on the bottom left, go into apps and sales channels, and then open up the Shopify app store. Now, once you have opened up the Shopify app store, you're going to go into the top search bar and then search for Printify. Now, you will see an application for the Printify print on demand application. Simply click on this and then click on install. Once you click on install, this will open up Printify and it will ask you to confirm your installation. So you're going to click on install once more to actually install the Printify application into Shopify. Now you can pin this to your navigation on the left on Shopify. Now once you have completed this, it's time to log into your account of Printify. So choose the same account that you chose previously, the same email that you used to create your account. And I have just opened up my account over here. And you will see this is my account opened up and I can just click on view open uh, or open full site and this will open up the full Printify site. And you can see I have my Shopify store now connected and you will see the name of your Shopify store appear on the top left. And now from here I can begin creating my own print on demand product. Now I'll show you guys how to create your product and then push them to your Shopify store via Printify. So the first thing you're going to do is head on over to your catalog and in your catalog you're going to find a lot of different categories. You can create a bunch of different types of products on Printify anywhere from men's, women's, or kids clothing to phone accessories and home and living items. So let's say that I want to create a phone case. So I can go into phone case over here and this will show you different types of phone cases that are available. Some might be you now made of silicone, some might be made of a plastic material, some might be hard cases. So there are a lot of variabilities. And with Printify, you will see on the left, you have target areas. And target areas are going to be where you primarily want to sell your products in. So choosing a target area can help in better estimating your delivery fees for your particular customers. So if I was to show you guys things such as even t-shirts, even t-shirts have multiple different listings, although they're all just white t-shirts. Some of them have different materials. Some of them have different printing options. Some of them have all over print. Well, on some of them, you can only design, you know, on the front half or the back half. Then you also have differences in material as well as differences in necklines. So you have a lot of options to pick out from when it comes to the type of or the specific of your product. So let's say I want to go with this v-neck a soft style t-shirt. So I will click on this t-shirt over here and below that you will see a provider. You will see that even the same item has multiple different providers even for the USA. Then I also have different providers outside of the US including Canada, Australia, and other countries as well. So I can choose a provider that is going to be the closest to my destination nation. So wherever I'm going to be marketing or trying to sell my products, I want to choose a provider close to that. So I am going to choose Monster Digital and I will click on start designing over here. Once I click on start designing, I can proceed with the design of my product. So the first thing you will see is that you will see a front side. Below that you have a panel for the back side design and you also have the inner neck label. So I am going to go ahead and click on upload. 
and I will upload an image from my device. And this is the image that I want to use. So I will just upload my file over here. You can create your designs even with AI image generators on Printify. You also have text, your library, graphics, Shutterstock to design a interesting and creative t-shirt or any item that you are designing. So we're just gonna wait for our upload to be completed to proceed with our design. And just like that, our design has now been uploaded and I don't wanna add a lot to my t-shirt, so I'm just gonna leave this design. And one thing to note is that whenever you place any type of design onto product, on the right side, it will show you the resolution. You wanna make sure that it says higher resolution because the higher the resolution, the better the printing will look. If you upload a low resolution image, that will not translate well when it is being printed and the print quality will be pretty bad and your customers most definitely are not going to feel as if the product that they received is actually a nice product. You can also add a back design and inner neck label, but I am going to leave it as it is. I'll just wait for my product to load up completely and you can add more elements, more you know, items, you can add text. So let's say I want to add some text that says it girl like this, and then I'll just place the text over here. Then after that, we can adjust the font, the alignment and other elements. And then we can click on select variants on the top right. So for my variants, I am going to select the variant. I only want it in a white color and I want this to be small, medium, large. I don't want to offer larger sizes and I want it to be in maybe a sand color in small, medium, and large, and then a natural color in small, medium, and large, and maybe a dark heather as well. Once I've done choosing the variants that I want to provide for my product, I can click on save product on the bottom right, and just like that, this will show me how my product is going to look like, the different images and the mock-up as well. I'm going to be using a mock-up as my primary image and I will be using the color sand in the primary image. Then I can scroll down and start naming my product the way I want it to appear on Shopify. So this is going to be my it girl tea. And then you can customize the description, tags, and shipping methods as well. And you can add the pricing. So over here, we are going to see our retail price. By default, it is going to add a basic price, but I will add a higher marked up price. Usually it has a 40% profit margin, but I just updated it to 76. And below that, I am going to show my product visibility and then just click on publish. And now directly from Printify, my Product will be pushed to my Shopify store and you can even order your sample from Printify to see what your products are going to look like and the way that the customer will receive them. So let's open up our Shopify store to see the listing on Shopify. So we're just going to log into our store over here. And once we do that, we are going to go into our products on the left panel and it only takes a couple of seconds. And just like that, our product is now available on our Shopify store with all its variants and sizes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.